Well, hello once again, everybody. This is Brian Statt coming to you from Maxwell Real Estate. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the new feature in the Maxwell Marketing System, uh, which is our new feature sheet builder. We call it a one-click feature sheet builder or brochure maker, and uh, we're pretty proud of it, and we'd just like to walk you through a little bit about how that system works. Um, first things first, you want to always log into maxcentral.ca. That's obviously your exclusive resource center for everything to do with Maxwell. We call it uh, Grand Central Station and of course in Grand Central Station you can get to a number of different places as we've discussed in previous videos but the place we're going to go to today is the Maximum Marketing System so if you come into Max Central and you just simply click on this Maximum Marketing System button uh, it's going to take you into this screen so um, I'm actually impersonating uh, Brent Anderson our uh, manager of training and development just so I can use uh, some of the listings that we have pre-filled in there for demonstration purposes. So I'd like to uh, walk you through the creation of a flyer or a brochure. Actually, we'll do both, hopefully, in this video, and a few of the features that the flyer and brochure maker actually come with. So here I am on the on the home page. So I've clicked through Max Central, and now I'm on the home page of the Maximum Marketing System. And we have all of these uh, tabs up along the top here. And one of the tabs that we're going to be looking at uh, today will be uh, projects and, or designs, but actually right from the home page, it gives me the opportunity to start building. So I'm going to uh, start with a flyer, and all I have to do here is just click, simply click on the flyer button. Now this gives me seven different templates for flyers. Um, this one here you'll notice is only a, just a single page. This flyer is a single page. That's the auto-created flyer that you get with every uh, listing that you do, and we send it to you by email. Um, but that's only a single page, and uh, we've had so many requests for double-page or two-page flyers that we decided we would go ahead and produce some uh, brand new designs for our new Maxwell Marketing System. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and pick one of these. But if, any one of them that you hover over, you'll see they all have names. That's Elegant and Carnival and... Um, couple of different ones. If I just click on this one, for example, I can view a sample by simply clicking there and it'll just give me a generic boilerplate kind of a sample, as you can see. So it's a really nice design. It's one that we've had custom designed specifically for Maxwell. And let's just run with that one. Let's say we want to work with that one. I'm just going to click here, select this design. Now, I simply need to give this project a name. In this case, I'm going to call it uh, Brian Test flyer okay and then I have I can give it a description if I want to give a specific uh, tag to myself this is just a note to myself about what this flyer is about when I see it in the project folder after and I'm just going to uh, decide so this here is the project folder I want to produce that piece into and this is the the um, the listing that I want to use to produce that piece. So let's start with this pull down first and I'm going to go down and I'm going to find a listing that I really like. Here's uh, 913 Hampton Court. I'm just going to choose that one and I want that flyer that I produced to go into the 913 Hampton Court project folder so I don't have stuff floating around. Now if I wanted to I could create a new folder specifically for this flyer if I wanted to but I like to keep everything together with that one um, listing all of the listing materials are in that same folder. I have a checkbox here that says automatically crop photos when adding or rearranging. That's the easiest way to do but I'll show you a second option as well. So this is satisfactory for me. I'm going to go ahead and click save and continue and here I am once I click save and continue it says before creating your project due to the image sizes it may take several minutes. I'm on a fairly good internet connection here so I'm going to hit confirm and it's going to automatically populate 30 images from that listing source and it's going to drop it right into my project. So um, now each flyer has a different number of photos that it will actually use and as we've talked about before the uh, photos that are pulled in from the project are based on uh, just simply by order so one two three four five six seven eight um, based on how they come in from the listing feed um, so this piece has uh, has uh, been produced and I just got a little warning there that there's uh, they had a trouble bringing in those listing photos so I'm actually just going to bring my own listing photos in here from that project now there's two ways to do that if I go up here and I click add photos um, I can 
multiple I can uh, upload from my computer from Dropbox if I have favorites which I don't I can drop those in as well or even some stock photos if I wanted to put some stock photography in that we have built in um, I can do that as well but most of you are going to want to do the project folders and this is where we store all the photos for that particular listing so because of that what we what we're going to do is we're just going to pick a couple of the photos that we like so photo number one is going to be uh, let's say we like uh, this one and then photo number two is that one um, maybe this one we'll pick a couple of these here oh there's my maximum so I, this flyer has a maximum of four photos so maybe I'm gonna take uh, a couple of these nicer ones from upstairs so I've got a front page one there we go and maybe uh, how about that one okay so now if I wanted to I could just go fill project and that fill project button would automatically choose the first four if I had four photos to choose so it would just be one two three four automatically no fuss no must now I've chosen to choose them one two three four as I wanted them and now I can just hit add selected photo now this tells me on the side here which photo is which so this is uh, photo one is this big one here photo two photo three and then this one here is view eight photo one as you can see that's the one that's going to be over here so that's the way this particular project lays out lays out its photos if i didn't like any of those i can swap them out i can simply uh, trash them i can zoom them to see if it's the one that i want i can crop them myself or i can just hit this button again go back into my project folders and i can choose to select a different one let's say I, I really like this one I'm gonna go with that one instead there it is it's swapped out now I'm ready to go I like the way all of my photos are I may want to choose um, specific cropping to fit into this piece so I can either save and continue and uh, the system will automatically crop for me so they so they fit professionally on the page or I can go save and review cropping when I, what I get there is uh, it gives me the option to move around these crop marks so I can decide how I want these photos um, to actually look so that was photo four this one uh, I think I want a little more of the windows so I'm gonna crop that one that way this one I'm going to try and catch that fireplace in there I'm gonna crop that one that way and this one I want more blue than green so I'm gonna crop that one that way so now I also have the opportunity to change the headlines so uh, headline one is where uh, you see here view one headline one on the sample here tells me what's going to say there so in view one headline one I want it to say uh, amazing value with an exclamation point and headline two um, currently says explore the possibilities now that one so that headline two if I look here view one headline two that tells me where that one's going to be so I want to put amazing value as headline one headline two is uh, don't miss out okay three dots there we go so street address all this stuff's already been populated this um, these are different labels I can change if I want to um, now I also have view 8 headline 1 I know that that's on the second page of this one as you can see in our sample view 8 headline uh, 1 right there you can see I make it a little bit bigger so view 8 headline 1 is going to be right at the end and I'm going to put uh, I'm just going to put my own sort of a tagline there and it's going to be uh, where real estate happens okay with an exclamation point so I'm good with all that I don't have a second agent to put in here but if I did I could go ahead and put all those uh, those agent that Im agent information to populate a second agent so I'm just gonna go on to the next step save and continue and here's my agent data so here's uh, agent 2 photo uh, in fact let me just go back I am gonna do something a little bit different um, I am going to uh, add in my name and I'm going to add in my uh, my title I'm going to put my phone number in there okay and my email address There we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna add all that information in there, and I am going to actually add a uh, a photo. I'm just going because I'm just sort of goofing off here. I'm just gonna add a stock photo, let's say of the holidays, 
let's see what kind of stock photos we have of the holidays. So um, that is a weird holiday photo, but hey, just for kicks, let's add that one in. That is going to be my agent photo, which is really strange, but that's all right. We'll crop that one in. Um, this says this is all the agent, first agent information. That's all Brent's information. So he's agent one. I'm agent two with the weird photo. And now we're going to hit save and continue. Now, our system has just produced that piece for you. So um, I have all of these different options here that I can do with that piece. I can publish it to the web if I want a URL that anybody can visit on the web for that flyer. I can email out to my contacts using our contacts engine. Uh, I can also use the download uh, PDF button, which I'll show you in a second, or I can download it as an image. I can one-click share to Facebook tweet it on Twitter, share it on uh, Google Plus, or pin it to Pinterest. Um, if I do produce a, uh, a published to the web, then I can find all of that information in links and tools. Or if I email it out, I can get all my email history uh, out of the email history. But because I haven't done any of that, I'm just going to click on download uh, PDF, and it gives me these three options. And I'm just going to print it here at my office so I can uh, print this one. Um, or if I wanted to send it off to Staples and use our corporate uh, copy and print center discount, we could do that as well, or send it off to a professional printer with all the crop marks and bleed marks, or I could even download it as a web image if I wanted to use it in marketing materials and things like that. So I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to click on download, uh, and what the system will do now is it's creating me a high-quality standard PDF, and here's my Brian uh, test folder one. So here it is. Here's the uh, photos that I made. I cropped them all myself. Amazing value. Don't miss out. It populates all the information from the MLS. It gives me all of my stuff. And there's my very strange photo of uh, what I look like when I am a some kind of a doll or something. So there we go. All the information is there. It's all been populated properly. Now uh, I would simply just uh, download it or, or uh, print it that however I wanted to do and that is as simple as it is for the feature sheet builder so now um, just as simply I can again go back to my design page or back to the home page and I can choose to do a brochure on that same property and here brochures are 11 by 17 um, those 11 by 17 brochures can be printed double-sided and folded we have two in the uh, portrait orientation and one in the landscape orientation which is is quite unique uh, and it follows exactly the same procedure in order to fill the photos and all that type of thing so um, don't neglect these ones these are really gorgeous beautiful high-end uh, folded flyers and then you could even print your MLS spec sheet if you wanted to add more info and just tuck it inside uh, that folded brochure really beautiful way to present the property we've created some very professional designs for you to use there as you can see it's just a couple of clicks to create professional looking marketing material and use it in so so many different ways um, we talked about project folders and I just wanted to show you quickly what that looks like when I go back to my projects um, I drop that original flyer that I just made into my 913 Hampton project folder so when I click on that this is my Brian test flyer. Obviously, I've got a whole bunch of other stuff because I've been using this as a as my test property. But here's the Brian test flyer. And again, I can get there just by doing that and clicking on uh, anything else that I need. If I decided I wanted to edit it, duplicate it, and then edit it or do anything like that, I can do that with all of these buttons. So I hope that that's been helpful in helping you with our brand new feature, the, the uh, feature sheet and brochure builder in Maxwell, the... Uh, Maxwell marketing system and I think it's really exciting uh, what Maxwell Realty is offering as complimentary service to all of its associates use the tools we love it to hear from you when you use the tools and you love what's going on so uh, we invite you to do that and check back frequently for more videos I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian Statt and I hope you have a wonderful day thanks